Hello everyone, it's me and Anna G, and you're listening to the G-Spot Podcast. Started doing them last week, and everyone says, oh, you should keep doing them, so here I am. You're welcome. <laughs> Gonna start off with some local news here. <sighs> some very sad news, and I don't even know if I'll be able to get through it. And no, it's not about the weather. If you look out your damn window, I'm sure you can see that the weather is shit. Pouring down rain day after day. That Mark Parker doesn't know what the hell he's talking about when he does the little weather thing on there. Well, we might get sunshine later on today. My ass. I can't even tell you the last time I saw the sun. And when it's nasty like this, I'm not leaving the house. I just want to wallow around all day. Do nothing. And it really brings your mood down. It kind of just puts you in a funk. I feel like we're living in Seattle or something. And I'm not a mental health expert. You know, I'm not um, a goddamn meteorologist. But I'm just saying. Kurt Cobain lived in Seattle and look what he did. And I'm I'm not, you know, even joking around here. I'm sure, you know, when you're battling some of the demons that he was, when you can't even go outside your damn house without it being pouring down rain, you never see the sun, I'm sure that affects your mood. That's all I'm saying. So, but anyway, it's not about the weather. <sighs> this is tough. Um, I know I'm always supposed to be the happy one, you know, the pleasant one. I'm always supposed to be real chipper and yeah, mumble something else under your breath again, Lou. The hell you didn't. What'd you say? I am pleasant. The hell I ain't. I'm very pleasant. I'm happy. You know, I, I brighten people's days with my good mood. God, you're an asshole. Hush up, I'm trying to do this. <sighs> Bad news. I don't know if you've heard or not. Popeye's chicken ain't coming to Johnstown no more. They were supposed to come, they were supposed to build a, a, a restaurant in, in that building up there in Richland on Scalp Avenue. Yes, they were, Lou. On Scalp Avenue. And that little shopping center up there. It's called the University Park Shopping Center. Where's that? It's up by the uh, John P. Murtha Center. Up across from there. I'm not talking about sheets, Lou. I'm talking right to the right of that. Where the methadone clinic was, for Christ's sakes. Where we you used to give Samantha a ride up there in the morning so she could get dosed. Yeah. Yeah, they moved. I don't know where they moved that to, but they were going to turn that into a Popeyes. And now they ain't. I don't know why, but I'm devastated, frankly. It's like New Orleans style fried chicken, if you didn't know. And the Tribune did an article about it. They didn't say why. They just says. They're not going to be putting it up there anymore. So who the hell knows what they're going to be putting it up there. All I know is we're not going to have a damn Popeye's chicken. And you drive by KFC ever since they came back. There's still a line down to the block for the drive through I can't go wait in that line in that Buick. I'll end up stalling out. Are you kidding me? So, yeah. There's no Popeyes. So, if you were looking forward to going up there and getting some chicken, you better make some other plans. And if those other plans include uh, sex of any sort, <laughs> you better put that to the side because I saw that Elisa Milano, she's calling for a sex strike. And I don't know what it's for or what it's about or anything. I didn't bother to click on it to read the article. But I saw the headline. Elisa Milano calling for a sex strike. So, <laughs> she's an actress, Lou. 
Yes, she is. She is not an adult film actress. No, she ain't. It has nothing to do with labor rights, Lou, and equal pay. Because she's not in the porn industry. She is not a hooker. I, she's an actress. I don't know. She played in a couple things. I didn't watch them. I don't know. But she's an actress. I just saw the headline, for Christ's sakes. And she's calling for a, a sex strike. Meaning no women are supposed to be having sex. So, <laughs> you're going to have a lot of angry men out there diddling around. Yeah, mumble something else and keep laughing. We'll see how funny it is come Father's Day, which is right around the corner, when you don't get your uh, yearly Father's Day present. Yeah, not so funny anymore, is it? Didn't think so. And I'm not a damn, uh, you know, scholar or anything. But I will say, if this thing picks up, we're probably looking at the apocalypse. We're, this is probably going to be world ending. I'm just saying. Forget about North Korea being a threat. This is going to be, uh, this is going to have a major impact on humanity as we know it. Because I'll tell you this. What about the lesbians? Honestly, what about lesbians? That's a serious inquiry into this whole sex strike. What about lesbians? So I guess they're not going to be having sex either, right? So now you're going to have a bunch of angry, horned up men. And their old ladies aren't going to be putting out because they're going to be on strike. So what are they going to do? They're going to go and want to watch some lesbian porno. And... The hell they won't, Lou. I found all those magazines of yours out in the garage. Yeah, that was me. There you go blaming Matthew, thinking he took your smut magazines. It was me. I took them and I pitched them. I burned the damn things. Because it's filth. It's smut. And I don't want it on my property. So you're going to have all these men going to watch some lesbian porn, and the lesbians are going to be on strike. Then what happens? <laughs> you know, they say, go stalk up, you know, for Y2K and uh, goddamn nuclear fallout. And yeah, you better get your asses down to the corner store and stock up some on some canned goods and some lanterns and flashlights and everything. Because when this really takes full effect... It's going to be worse than a damn measles outbreak. <laughs> it's going to be worse than a damn uh, nuclear war. This is going to be bad. And I don't even know what it's all for. But that's that. <laughs> so, you've heard it here first. You better quit diddling around and get out there. And stock up on the essentials. Because this is going to get nasty. <laughs> Speaking of lesbians, no, I am bad. I'm just kidding. She's married. That uh, Facility Hoffman or F Felicity Hoffman from that Desperate Housewives show, she pled guilty today in, in federal court because she paid fifteen thousand dollars to some. I don't know, some thing, some guy or whatever, to have wrong answers on her daughter's SAT exam changed to the correct answers so she could get admitted to some damn college. <laughs> could you imagine? Honest to God, you know, if Matthew and Amanda, even if I was a millionaire, a multi-millionaire, and had everything I wanted, if Matthew or Amanda come up to me and says, Nana, uh, we want to get into some fancy smancy college. Uh, I don't know. UPJ. And if you pay this guy some money, he'll change all my wrong SAT answers. And he'll make them right answers so I can get admitted to UPJ. I'd say, you are nuts. The only place you're going to be getting admitted is the damn nut ward because it'll be a cold day in hell before Nana G writes a check 
so you can go to some damn college because you didn't study and do what the hell you were supposed to be doing, diddling around in class all day, pissing around, and not paying attention to the teacher and cracking the books. No. I wouldn't give a shit how much money I had. Yeah, I'd donate it to the damn Humane Society, a goddamn homeless shelter or something. Not for their SAT scores. What are you shitting me? But yeah, she she pled guilty today. Her and that Aunt Becky from Full House. Uh, I don't think she pled guilty. She's gonna tough it out and try to beat it at trial. Which I don't know. I don't know what the best route is there. Because. She doesn't own up to what the hell she did. And her daughter's a little snot-nosed brat from what I understand. I saw some clip on the Instagram or whatever. Her on there diddling around on her cell phone. I don't really care about school. <laughs> but yins know that. I'd smack her so hard she wouldn't know what the hell hit her. Especially if I shout out a couple grand for her to get admitted to some damn college and then I'm paying tuition on top of that and she's going to be on the Instagram diddling around talking about how she doesn't give a shit about school. Meanwhile, I'm facing federal freaking time in a prison to get that little bitch admitted into college. No. Uh-uh. So, yeah, Aunt Becky might be going away. I don't know what's going on. They, it doesn't say on here what she was sentenced to or anything. I think she was just pleading. But they says that she broke down that Felicity Hoffman or whatever. They says that she broke down and was bawling in the courtroom and everything. You know. Not good. Not good. And and you know what? I think that, yeah, right here it says it. That F Felicity Hoffman, she and her husband paid, I think, 15 grand. Which, don't get me wrong. <laughs> the nuts. But that Aunt Becky, her real name's Lori Lachlan or something, uh, they paid $500,000 in bribes to get their two daughters into uh, USC as crew recruits, even though neither one of them even play the damn sport. My God. Yeah, that'd be the day. So, I don't know. Oh, Aunt Becky and... Uh, Facility Hoffman might be going away for a while. <sighs> we'll keep you updated on that. Back to some more local shit that's going on. Thunder and Valley is coming up. And I don't know if you've seen this or not, but uh, you're not going to be going down to Greenhouse anymore. The hell you are, Lou! Because, A, I'm not dealing with your drunk ass like last year when you came home at 2 o'clock in the morning, woke up the whole damn house, and we had a birthday party to go to that day. You broke my damn lawn chair on the back porch. I'm not dealing with it again. You are not going down the Thunder in the Valley. And for two, even if you are, you can't go to Greenhouse. Because it's not going to be there anymore, Lou. No, it ain't. They're not doing uh, Thunder in a Valley at Greenhouse Park anymore. It was on the damn news. Because, that's what I'm about to tell them if you'd quit interrupting. Apparently, um, Greenhouse doesn't have enough people to volunteer to work it. They don't have enough young people to do it. And the people who've been doing it year after year, they're getting up there in age. And they're too old for that shit. So they're going to downsize it a little bit, I guess. And have it downtown. Or with the other, with the rest of the Thunder festivities. So. I don't know. I'm not the goddamn Visitors Bureau. I just figured I'd let you know. You want more information about it, go on the World Wide Web. I think that Visitors Bureau, they have a, a Visit Johnstown Facebook page and all that. Get on there and look. But. You know, I figured I'd break that news to you in case you planned on doing that. I'm breaking a lot of news to you today. So, if you planned on getting laid anytime soon, scratch that off because of the sex strike. If you planned on getting a thing of chicken from Popeyes, scratch that off. Because they're not coming to Jonestown no more. And if you wanted to go to Greenhouse, <laughs> you ain't going. 
You have to go downtown. So, that's that. And on top of all that, it's shitty outside. It's pouring down rain. It's nasty out. So, that's all I have. I don't know. Frankly, I'm disgusted going through all of this to tell Yin's all about it. It just, it, it put me in, even, in, a, in, a, in an even more bad mood. And I'm getting off of here. So, I don't know. That's it. I'll talk to Yin's next time, I guess. All right. How do I shut this off, Lou? She left me instructions here. Where the hell that paper go? You're using it for a coaster. Son of a bitch. How am I going to be...